Hey guys, it's Mike here with Growing Indoors 365 right here on YouTube with another brand new video this beautiful Sunday. Sorry I haven't uh, updated you guys on this on what's currently going on in the grow tent, but as you can see here, we have substantial growth. We're going to dive right in. We're going to look at directly into the plants. We're going to look at the root systems. We're going to talk about nutrition. And that's really it. Let's go ahead and dive in. If you're new to the channel, I just want to mention make sure to subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. This way, all that happens is you get notified every single time I upload a video. And if you find this video educational, please share on all your current social media platforms and with friends and family. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let me show you a little bit of uh, what I got going on in the tent. Will you just look at this? Absolutely gorgeous. Three enormous tiers of beautiful, well actually <laughs> three enormous reservoirs on one tier. But will you just look at this one, one once again? Look at this shot from back here. Amazing. I promised I'd get something in there and that's happening this week. Let's take a closer dive. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Look at this growth. Right now, this is the week. This is the week that I need to start eating this. I've actually been eating some of this lettuce because it's been perfect for um, like for example tacos or some sort of lettuce wrap and what I mean by that is you just take these little these little cups you fill it up with some ground chicken turkey meat whatever type of meat you got and instead of using bread I mean look at this. this is gorgeous look at that giant beautiful because these are overall not we're not using some sort of you know, out of the ordinary chemicals, basically the, the fertilizer that's used here is primarily organically derived from the earth's minerals. But we're not using any type of pesticides or any type of, uh, you know, growth enhancement. That's where you're going to have some of this lettuce that looks a little scragglier. And that's fine. It's so delicious. It's mouth-watering. When I rip some of these off and I just kind of munch on them, and I've been actually showing this setup to my daughter, she's been totally fascinated. But, I mean, just take a look at this little, look at this. Let me just actually lift this up. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautifully translucent that leaf is. It looks so clean. It looks just incredible. So healthy, right? You're not going to find any bugs. You're not going to find any critters in here. That's another reason why I love doing my indoor hydroponic growing. You can look at it. You have, you have nice, beautiful, hydroponic, clean lettuce heads. It's unbelievable. And it's just so crispy. I mean, look at the, look at the, look at the uh, spinal. Look, look, just, look just the stems. Everything's just unbelievable on this. I absolutely love it. Hopefully, you guys are watching all my past videos. Hopefully, you are clicking the links down below. Make sure to also hit the links down below, guys, if you are interested in putting together a setup just like this. The links down below will show you the variation of tents that you could get, the metal shelving, the link to the pump, the fan, the tubing, the lighting, of course, which is, uh, you know, your primary focus because you, you, you don't, if you don't have any of this except for a reservoir and what's needed to situate a plant, you gotta have the lights. The lights is, is everything. The lights are everything. By the way, the current temperature right now in here is 75 with 32% humidity. But that's also because I have everything wide open. I have the whole thing wide open. It's probably a little bit higher usually when everything's kind of closed. But I, I always keep that open right there just to you know make sure it's not getting too hot because I've had it when it's too hot and um, the plants suffer. You don't want it to be too hot. Honestly, 75 to 78 degrees is absolutely perfect. And the humidity level of 32 to about 40 is really good. Let's take a closer look at the root systems as you can see here. I've only actually fed these guys one time and that was during that last video. Now, I, I don't know if I want to feed them anymore. I don't know if I want to. I gotta be careful right here because the sides right here have caught some, uh, some lettuce and I don't want to rip those leaves. But look how clean the root system the root system is here now I definitely have to add some more water today and I will and I might just go ahead and add just a little bit of extra nutrient and what I mean by extra is I'm gonna feed them I'm gonna feed these plants again today 
since the last time they were fed was approximately a week and a half ago. But as you can see here, as I mentioned in that video, you don't need a large amount of, you know, liquid food. You don't need a, a ton of fertilizer. They don't need it. All they need is oxygen and water. And that is my theory. That is my, you know, that's how I see this. That's how I envision it. I'm seeing the, the best results that I've been able to come up with when I'm using a pump, allowing air to percolate, oxygenating the root system, and developing just beautiful plants. I mean, look at this. This is probably, if you were to go to the store, and let's say you were gonna get clean veg, it's, it's not a lot because, for example, overall consumption, it's probably, you know, $10 worth of lettuce. But that's not what it's always all about, right? It's about taking the time to come in here and eat what you've grown. That's cool, that's cool. Have you ever made a burger and then used your own lettuce that you grew? It's outstanding, let me tell you. I'm hoping everybody's taking the time to really understand that this isn't just about focusing on some sort of survival. It's actually understanding that this could potentially be in the near future, the actual currency of the world, food. Can't eat money, right? You can't eat money. You can't eat gold, which they actually do. I don't know, they you know put gold flakes on things, but it's learning how to grow. Just because I'm showing you here some lettuce, or I'm gonna show you some basil, or some other things that we can grow, it doesn't mean that that's your main focus of growth. But the thing is, you, you created life out of a seed. You literally created life out of a seed. And let me tell you, when, when, when it comes time, that the earth is at a point where the most valuable thing is food. You're gonna contain the knowledge that's necessary and understanding of how to basically create a setup that could house a food bank. Okay, this is what this is. You know, a lot of people have money in, in, in their bank. Well, you know what, this is, my, this is my food reserve. How about that? How about that? And if I have seeds that are put away and I'm able to activate and utilize this food at any time, that's awesome. That's really what I'm getting at. But I'm just happy that everything is looking really nice and clean and beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Look how clean it is. Honestly, when I go to the supermarket, <clears throat> I never see vegetables, especially lettuce, this clean. It always looks dirty and I'm always finding flies or some sort of gnats inside. When you grow it yourself, it's the cleanest way. Nice clean root systems. By the way, if you guys have any questions, let me turn the camera around. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I try to answer comments once a week or so. So, you know, I, I try to, I do my best on answering comments. Sometimes I, I go online and just answer 50 at a time. But if you have any questions, make sure to leave me a comment. Also, we're getting traction on the Instagram. And that's, um, the Instagram channel is uh, Growing, Endure, Growing Endures 365 on Instagram. All the links are down below, as well as the Facebook page is always growing. I'm going to be posting this video, as well as some nice images on the Facebook channel. So make sure you go there and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. All this is, is free knowledge. So, that's really it, guys. This is the weekend video. I'll be uploading another video next week. Um, I'll have a little bit of uh, more development on what's going down here, and that's probably going to be some, um, some basil and some uh, additional type of herbs. But this is it. Hopefully you're having a fantastic weekend. Hopefully you're spending time with your family. Hopefully you're setting your own hydroponic grow up. Okay, you guys need to set this up. This is so critical. It's so good for the mind, the body and the soul just to come in and just to be able to create this abundant it's, it's just, there's just so much greenery here. It's just so exciting to be able to do this. I mean, it's literally snowing outside right now outside my house. It's snowing outside, but I have an indoor garden that's thriving. 
All right, that's it for me, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to share this video. Please hit the, hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next couple days. Stay safe.